everybody, this is Praxis, and today was a really, really busy day, which is why it's the end of the day now. Uh, it's getting dark, and I realize I haven't done a video to document what we've been doing. Uh, and the big thing is above us, the greenhouse roof. Uh, we're here on the eastern greenhouse side, and it's 100% done, at least in terms of the paneling. Uh, there are uh, aluminum pieces that need to go up on the top. At the moment, it's only held in with uh, three screws per panel, plus uh, it kind of being wedged between the channels that it slides into. Uh, but, you know, it's up there, uh, you know, and I'm happy for that because we're having some rain and some snow heading our way. On the western greenhouse, we've got about half of them, actually we have exactly half of them in, and tomorrow we should be able to finish up the rest of them. Simultaneous to that, uh, we're working on this radon issue, if you recall yesterday, the people were drilling this hole uh, through the uh, foundation over here. So it was a five inch hole to accommodate a four inch pipe. And uh, here's the four inch pipe coming out over here. When I put the four inch pipe in, uh, what I did to it is, uh, as it went in, I, I took it and I sliced it at a pretty severe angle. And the reason for that is that uh, if I just put it in like this, there'd be all this gravel in the front, and you want to get maximum air into this thing, uh, now the gravel would kind of block it up a bit, but by slicing it open, it, it went uh, from you know, this opening to a really big oval shape, kind of like if you were putting flowers into water. Uh, you, you know, they always say, instead of cutting the flowers you're gonna put in the vase that way, you kind of cut them in the other direction because it opens up more surface area for them to draw water up. I don't know whether it's an old wise tale or not, but it certainly is true here. Getting that big ovular section that we were able to uh, you know, draw air into is gonna just make the air go into the pipe that much easier. Uh, from here, it's gonna go into this uh, 45, I'm sorry, not 45, 90 degree coupling. It's gonna head up in this direction. Uh, and uh, here's the pipe here. We're just gonna you know, have a bang of 90 there, go up and go out. And then we can start getting this all uh, you know, put back in. We have to pay special attention though as we're doing this to make sure we get the gravel really nice and packed underneath and pack it as we kind of go around the uh, tube because we don't want to be putting the gravel in and then be uh, treading on top of it and having the gravel compress and then pull that uh, pipe down. The pipe is held in place. I did not put concrete uh, uh, around uh, where the pipe went in. I just spray foamed it. And the reason for that is that the important thing is getting a nice good seal. I felt I could get that with the spray foam, but the spray foam uh, doesn't have the, the strength of concrete. And um, uh, you know, for that reason, we wanna make sure that we're not you know, compressing down on top of it. Once I do get a good bed of gravel on top, I'm gonna to put uh, you know, maybe uh, a board, like a pressure treated board, or a metal plate or something to kind of disperse uh, the uh, you know the weight because there's going to be a lot of traffic on here and if you're stepping down in like a small area you're compacting but if there's a big pad under here under the gravel that you're stepping on a little bit it's really going to disperse your weight and make it so that you're not compressing down as hard on there so that was today tomorrow's finishing up the greenhouse over there and then uh, it's really just a matter of finishing up the last of these walls that are not uh, sided and getting the electrical stuff together on the inside. That's it. Thanks for watching.